Okay, do you have the slides up? Get the slides up. Embrace your human nature, baby. Let's do it. Okay. So you want me to time yeah? Uh yeah, but I got it I got it recording right now, so it should be fine. Cool. Let's face it. When it comes to appearance, I'm vain, you're vain, everyone's vain. My app is also called Vain. Where you embrace your human nature. My name is Zach Levy. I'm the sole founder at Bain. If you were to look at my background, you would see me as a sales guy and a full stack developer. But at heart, I'm an entrepreneur who loves building things and selling them to solve other people's problems. I've been involved in startups for the past four years in physical products, payments, and education. I moved out here to Toronto to take part in the next 36. And after that, I opened up a small development shop where I make MVPs for other startups. Vane is all about profile pictures, but who cares? Profile pictures are your most viewed photo ever. It's your first impression online, you never get a second chance. But most importantly, it's the most important, um, the first and sometimes the only screener for potential partners for online dating. They decide right there whether they want to chat with you or not. The problem that Bain is solving is that you don't know how people react to your profile picture. So introducing Bain, where we crowdsource your best profile picture. We do this by presenting potential partners with two photos of you, um, and they choose which photo they like best. Afterwards, you get to see detailed feedback broken down by males and females and your friends on which profile photo is best of you. Let me prove to you why this is so important. Josh signs up for an online dating, dating app such as Tinder. Potential partners see his profile picture and decide whether or not to chat with him. In this case, Emily sees his picture and decides not to chat. Josh doesn't have much luck with online dating. He downloads Vane and he gets detailed feedback from females aged 16 to 24, his potential partners. Josh updates his profile and returns to online dating. Aaron chooses to chat with Josh. They go on a date, enter into a relationship, and two years later, they become one of the over 1,000 couples engaged thanks to Tinder. You can see how such a small change in Josh's profile picture had a huge impact on his life. I've identified three potential revenue models for Vane. The first and most obvious is to serve advertisements. The second is to offer premium features. For example, offering more targeted feedback based on different demographics. And third, and I think the one that has the most potential, is to be a lead generator for dating sites. We can make it a lot easier for users to sign up for online dating with a full profile because we already have optimized profile pictures and their standard profile information. Last year, there were $2 billion in online dating revenues. But more importantly, the big companies right now are shifting their focus from web to making mobile the core of their product. And second, that curation algorithms don't work. What this means is, is I, as a dating site, I can't present you with a person with a high degree of certainty that you're gonna be compatible with them. You still have to filter through hundreds of profiles. And the first, most important, and often the only screener um, is profile pictures. Nine months ago, I created an MVP for the purpose of getting unsolicited feedback from random users. I wanted to find out who would use this app. It turns out females aged 16 to 24 were the most engaged users. 
So last month, I built a version two of the product, more targeted towards this demographic. My next steps right now are to do a PR and marketing push to my new targeted demographic and to build out a dashboard to analyze all this data and improve my product. After I'm satisfied that I've found product market fit, I'm going to raise some money. The status quo right now for choosing your best profile picture is using likes from Facebook and Instagram. However, the big problem with this is that Facebook and Instagram have extra context. That is, you get, um, you get descriptions and all the people writing you are your friends. Another option is to do do it yourself by either split testing or on dating sites or talking to your female friends. Right now, Vane is differentiated because it gives the most detailed feedback of all the other options. Compared to our, our potential uh, competitors, our strategy is to obsess with profile pictures. And unlike our big competitors, Vane will always be dif differentiated because it has a very bold brand, something that, for example, Facebook can copy overnight. Now, I could show you a hockey stick graph on this slide. However, as we all know, it's a complete mystery. What I can tell you is that right now, I have about a $500 per month burn rate, and most of that is from freelance developers that I've sourced through my company, First Exit Media. The great thing about Vane is that it scales up very easily on the technical back end. Now, there's lots of other co-working spaces out there um, here in Toronto, but I want to come to DMZ. I've come here every two weeks for the past year to hang out with the Snipley guys, um, Volley, Cahoots HQ is one of my clients, and I love Hackerness. I've been to every other, I've been to every Hackerness for the past year. Um, another great reason is for the talented people. Right now, I'm working out of a one-bedroom apartment, and I don't really get to bounce ideas off of, off of other people. And something specifically I'm looking for is a B2C mentor to help me. Embrace your human nature. Be vain. Wow, that was, that was a monumental improvement. Yeah? You've been practicing, eh? Yeah, a few times, just like in the shower and stuff. Is, your video has been frozen. 